Steady my bones, leave my heart a stone I'm glad to be numb to Oh, but the sun and the warmth in her eyes Let the world decide for some things you follow Some things you follow On your Triple J bio, it says you've played together for eight years But only in the last few years you started to really focus in on it Is that tr still true? Yes Yeah, so why did it take so long to become serious about it? Uh, well, we were still at school and we were still... Um, we, well, when we started, we were still at school and then we tried to do uni and that didn't work out very well. So um, once we once we realised that music was... we were getting actually quite good at it, we thought we might as well make some money from it. And that's where busking came from and then from there we started getting a fan base and it became a bit obvious that we should probably put more time into it. So yeah, any old excuse to keep doing it. Do you think you'll follow in the steps to, uh, like, um the passenger and that where he still busks now even though he's massive do you like busking still yeah. or do you want to just keep keep it professional now yeah we still like busking busking's kind of how we got started and it's a good way to you know get people to follow us and make a little bit of money on the side when we're not touring and that yeah. kind of thing so um it's still working for us now alongside the the, the other stuff um so yeah I, I don't really know if, if we explode hopefully we won't have to busk anymore but <laughs> For the moment, that's it. Yeah, it's it. yeah we've, 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 we've exploded. Yeah, the passenger one's probably. If we, <laughs> that's a pretty extreme example, I guess. Mm. Yeah, he's yeah. still he still busks now. Yeah, yeah. Well, although crazy. we went to see him do it in Pitt Street, and I wouldn't call it busking. Yeah, well, yeah. he's not asking for money though. But yeah, exactly. you know, a lot of people show up still. Um, yeah, well, if there's going to be you know 500 people to come and watch us busk, we'll definitely do it. So after this tour, do you plan? Oh wait, no wait. So then, what what makes you different? to any other folk music bands. I was like reading the reviews on your Triple J page mm. and um, you know, you got good feedback from Richard Kingsmill and, but there was someone else there that was like, you know, um, they, you know, there's, there's not a shortage of those folk bands, but there's something about you. What do you think it is that is making you stand out or will make you stand out to stand that yeah. test of time? Uh, yeah, it's definitely true. There's a lot of people um, doing the folk thing, but it's also true of pretty much every type of music at the moment. There's a lot of people trying to get a Triple J for any genre of music. Um, but I don't know, I'd hope that's our songs. The, uh, songs are hopefully good enough to... I think that's the case with any band in any genre. If the songs are there, then people are always going to be buying the music and they're always going to want to get a piece of the action kind of thing. So hopefully if we keep writing decent songs, then... That'll be the difference. Mm. Anyone can be a folk act. I think anyone can be any band, really. But the ability to write decent songs, I think, is a good thing to have, mm. which we're still working on. And I wouldn't consider us to be another kind of folk folk duo mm. either. Um, we started kind of we started out playing a lot of rock music, so a, a lot of our set now is, is kind of much more of the folk rock side. Oh my um, God. So hopefully that's a combination that, that works. Yeah, and. Um after this tour, well, actually, no, going back on that, why, like, you're, you started busking, but I've seen your live set, it's very electric, like, mm. you know, there were so many people there for your Little May show, like, mm. they were there to see you guys, yeah. massive, so, like, would you really call yourself a folk duo if you're bringing that kind of electricity to the No, shows? I don't think so, I think we've kind of left that, um, that... What, you, what is it? What do some people call us a folk duo? I think we've left yeah. that category. I think we've just because as well when you when you would have seen us, we would have had the full band, so it's yeah. a lot easier to be. That's probably where we can kind of achieve the set that we want. Mm. Whereas when it's just the two of us, you're, we're limited and much more of a folk duo in that. Much more of a folk duo because that's what all we can kind of get out of the two of us. But we still love doing that because it's very, it's more of an intimate show. It's still good fun, but yeah, I think in the future it's going to go towards a more of a full band thing and more of a rock thing and just whatever. Mm. And so is this tour just two of you? No, some of, it. some of it is, some of it, depending on the size of the venue basically. So for Sydney and Melbourne we're doing full band, mm. and then for places like um, the Milk Factory in Brisbane and the hotel in Adelaide, which Chief Hotel, we're doing just the tours. And we just did Geelong last night, there's just the two of us as well which went pretty well. So. Yeah? Yeah. Is it um, a lot of pressure to be doing headline tour now as opposed to the support slots? Do you feel responsible a lot more now? Mm. And yeah, it's weird. 
we're saying that. It's weird. We don't know what to say to people during our set now. Like the the support shows, we kind of stumble our way through and go, "Well, you're not here to see us anyway. Like, yeah. We can just kind of do a set." But last night we were, we were looking out and going, <laughs> "James said to him, he was like, well, why, why are you here? Why, <laughs> why do you know who we are?'" Like, yeah. It's, yeah, it's very freaky, but really cool. Like it, it's a really good feeling seeing a bunch of people who bought a ticket to come and see you, um, but not we're not used to it yet. Mm. It's really strange. Yeah. Could be enough. Yeah. We'll, we'll feel a bit more confident with the band, I think. Because yeah. we can be, you know, rock stars. <laughs> and you've been working together for so long, though, but are you not sick of each other yet? Yeah, we are. What's it's an awkward question when we're in the room. What's, um, what's, let's make it a bit cathartic. What mm -hmm. do you find maybe... Oh, let's not do this. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. We're grinding gears with each other, but, you know, you've learned to accept it and it makes you a duo... I don't know. The thing we always say is we were friends before we were yeah. bandmates. So it's essentially music is just an excuse to do a lot of hanging out. Mm. So why did you decide to make music together then? What was it that clicked? A similar taste in music pretty much. Mm. We both really liked ACDC at the time. Yeah. Green Day when we were 14. We ACDC? Kind of, yeah. How old are you, sorry? 20. And you liked ACDC? Yeah, yeah, five years ago they were oh, more than that. Eight years ago they no, were. No, but you know you don't hear about many people liking ACDC. Yeah, we started. It was kind of our, our guitar teacher. Mm. Oh no, we got into them first, but a lot of the first guitar stuff we started learning was ACDC. You should hear some of the, the first Winter Hill <laughs> album, which was under the name Meltdown. Meltdown. <laughs> it's pretty rock and roll, man. It's pretty good. <laughs> Every now and then we go back there just for some melody ideas because yeah. it's like that was genius. Sort of just a rock album. <laughs> so we might revisit that someday. But yeah, we started off just learning all solos of ACDC songs and then mm. like a living end. And we we yeah. tried yeah. some yeah. to make it sound good. Yeah. But that's why you completely turn it around, do like what Danny Joms did with. Yeah, it's like do a slow, yeah. like, like indie rendition. Yeah, no, that, I feel like that would just piss off all the ACDC fans <laughs> quite a lot. Including us. <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, so let's turn your songs into questions. Heart and mind. Which do you follow more, your heart or your head? Um, well, my whole thing is then that you, you can't follow your heart because it just pumps blood around your body. So I don't know why I wrote that song. <laughs> <laughs> that is the saddest <laughs> re response to that question. Obviously, you're talking about intuition. Yes, exactly. So let's say intuition and mind. Yeah. Um, I would say, yeah, go with the heart. I, I tend to overthink things quite a lot. My, my we mind are works heart quite and mind. Lot. We are. That's it. It's yin wow. and yang. Yeah. It's Figured incredible. It <laughs> Sunrise, early mornings or late nights? Late nights. Can't stand early mornings. I quite like early mornings. <laughs> this is so good. This is why we work. This is what we're doing. Go back to that question about why we don't piss each other off. It's because when well, he's yeah. never awake when I am. <laughs> it's just oh, I'm thinking and he's feeling. Leaves. What's the one thing you hate to leave behind when you go on tour that can't take with you? Mm. We're both going to say the same. Yeah. Terrible answer. You say yours, and I'll, I'll do the opposite. Um. Don't do it. What's going to be the opposite? Yeah. Um. People. Yeah, people. We can't. <laughs> Sorry, uh, dogs. <laughs> is that true? Or no, is that it's not true. The opposite? Not true at all. People. Yeah. I reckon you would most miss your bed. I do like my bed. Tea as well. When you can't get tea, I miss I miss home because it's so rock and because roll, of man. my lack of. Tea. When you're on tour, you miss your bed and tea. Yeah. Man. You, know, miss, people, you miss yeah. people. Yeah. <laughs> Material. <laughs> Human. That's it. Oh, opposite yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. Steady my bones. What was the last song you heard that shook you? Uh -huh. yeah. um, nothing's as it seems by Gordy. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because she's on tour with us. So. <laughs> and we listen to her on the way down and we can't stop. We're obsessed Such with that song. song. It's ridiculous. Did yeah. you guys pick her? Yeah. Well, yeah, so we, should, we had a few people to listen to and we were like, heard that song. It's like, if she wants to come along then. <laughs> yeah, we could listen to that every on. night easily. Yeah. And last <laughs> one is The Boy Prince. If you were royalty for a day, what would you do? Tea. In bed. <laughs> <laughs> people. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing, that's it. Right. Tea, and, tea and people. I, don't um, know, people I feel like we get royalty. I was royalty for a day and I would do heaps of people. <laughs> 
Um, we, we would have so many answers to this you'd question. You'd have to think about it, because if you only had one day, you'd have to set yourself up for the future. That's what I'd do. I'd buy like, some investment oh, properties. Yeah. Oh, that's a good plan. Yeah. It's using the mind. Mm. Yeah. I'll learn from you. Yeah. Um, we'd buy investment <laughs> properties <laughs> as a king. <laughs> yep. As a prince. You'd maybe buy, buy properties some cities. And not just a land or an island, maybe? Yeah, I'd buy an island. Uh, Buy whatever you wanted if you were royalty. Well, so. it depends if you're rich royalty or just like just like you Something descended like. as a Europe prince in. So yeah, so are we somewhere. the top of the royalty or are we yeah. just. Yeah, it's like you're omnipotent for a day. Oh, right. Oh, right. This cool. is great. This is so nice. <laughs> Can't believe we have this opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd have tea and humans. Yeah, yes. sweet. Oh, um, we'd give heaps of money to charity. That's it, we? sorry. Yeah, that's what we meant to say first. <laughs> Something less selfish. Yeah, exactly. 